Oops, my hand slipped. <laughs> but you drop kicked me. Hand, leg, what's the difference? And if you think I'm gonna let you under my umbrella, you've got another thing coming. You've made your bed. Now get soaked in it. Here oh, it is. What did I do now? Super oblivious. I want to quickly apologize, um, that you don't hear sound. I turned it off. I didn't know the scene would play right there. And that's why you only heard the voices. There's probably some really good music in that particular scene, but yeah. Alright, back in our campus. Wait, it's Her Holiness. My friends, I finally figured out where we are. Tell us more. The air is sweltering, and I can hear the grinding of great gears. Why, this can only be... And shine. Exactly. What happened to you, Tiz? You're soaking wet. <laughs> oh, this? It's a... Thank the heavens. Why? Uh, for what? You're still bathing every day. I was worried the road... Wow. <laughs> Oh, and look at you! Why, your face is all red! You mustn't stay in the hot water for too long! <sighs> we lost our connection. For being the Empire's captive, she sure seems to be in good spirits. That's good, at least. I'll say. And now we know our next destination. Anshime isn't far from here. And with that, I must return to my studies. I can hardly wait to get back to the spire and begin analyzing all this data. Anything I can find out about falls, I promise you'll be the first to know. Please do, Rifa, and I'll be sure to take copious notes. This has been a most enlightening excursion, my friends. Take care and be safe. Farewell, Rifa. Good luck in your studies. I, I realized I never went to the spell shop here, to, I think, to see if uh, they had any updates. And they do. Lots of updates. We do not have that. Open eyes. Yeah. Take that, take that, take that. The time mages skills are here. Which we have no use for at the moment, sadly. Um... We gotta leave? Is that what this says? Oh, yeah, cuz. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and chimes over here. Oh. That's. That doesn't look good. Oh, you know what? I forgot to rest at the end. Oh, I also wanna quickly switch something on you. Because this really does help. A lot, and you is presently the only one that has uh, the um, the job learned up to the certain point that it needs to be. Okay. Um, this one, because many times I was I was relying on the Havzy skill, and I didn't have it. And that would have been greatly useful in that battle. I got 57 Phoenix Downs? Jeez. Alright. So let's go see why there's a huge hurricane around the end time. Whoa, 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 what's this? A 
a sandstorm? Ow. I think I got something in my eye. Are you all right, you? Well, this won't do. We can't even get close to the city. I hope the people inside are okay. Do you have some connection here, Idia? You bet we do. I wasn't gonna tell the story, but hey, if you insist. And I must say, it's quite a tale. You'll <laughs> laugh, you'll cry. On second thought, it sounds long. Let's save it for another day. Oh, come on. Hey, here, I'll just give you the highlights. Long story short, Anshine was a Luke? land of booming industry, powered by harnessing the force of the wind. But when we came here, the wind crystal was engulfed in darkness, and the winds had gone still. A group of shifty schemers took advantage of the situation, manipulating the people for their own profit. Together with Agnes, we awakened the crystal, got the winds blowing again, and brought the bad guys to justice. Wow, what a clear and concise explanation. You sure have a way with words, sir. What a remarkable tale. <laughs> you just had to go and steal my spotlight. But go figure. Last time we were here, there was no wind at all. Now it's blowing so strong we can't even get in. I'll bet you peed to pancakes that that Kaiser is behind this. He's trying to keep us away from Agnes. Let's return to El Campus. If the sandstorm is magical in origin, surely someone in the Department of Sorcery will know how to dispel it. Now that sounds like a plan. Let's go. So now we gotta figure out how to break that sandstorm. We're gonna talk to Pudgius. Pardon me, might we have a moment of your time? Hmm? Five star scholar Pudgius Bismal has no time for peasants and pudding heads. Yeah! It's that fat head who was picking on Rifa. Picking on Rifa? Me? Watch your tongue, you no star bore! I merely deign to give the girl the opportunity to assist her superior. Good gravy. Look, Reva's a friend of mine. Couldn't you just leave her alone? And who are you to give orders to me? Hmm? Are you even an Al Campus alumnus? My name is you. You, Genialja. <laughs> of House Genialja? And, uh, if I <laughs> might be so bold as to inquire, how many stars did you have during your time here at our alma mater? I was a five-star. Same as you. I see, I see. So we are equals. <laughs> well, when I graduated, they... they <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Uh, I'll leave Reva alone. You have my word. Well, that was easy. Talk about a clear-cut case of classism. He sounds like a completely different person. I didn't want to have to pull rank, but if it helps out Reva, it's worth it. Is there any other way I might be of assistance? If Pudgius Bismol could do anything for you, simply speak the word. Now that you mention it... We have business in Ansheim, but the city's caught in a vicious sandstorm. We're looking for a way to quell the winds. Do you know anyone in El Campus who could help us? A sandstorm? Oh, why, you should speak to Professor Norzen. Professor Norzen? <laughs> professor Norzen? You know this professor? 
Of course. He's practically a legend in El Campus. They say his knowledge of all fields of magic is second to none. Gosh, if the stories are true, the professor could stop a sandstorm with a wave of his hand. That said, I've never actually spoken to him. The rumor has it, he hasn't left his office in years. Uh, if I may, I overheard my classmates saying they spotted him on campus not days ago. They saw him heading into the Arcanatorium in the Spire of Learning. Mayhaps you should pay a the visit? The Arcanatorium. Thank you. I think we'll do just that. You're most welcome. Yes, most welcome indeed. Professor Norzen's office should be just this way. Hold it right there. Only faculty are allowed beyond this point. Run along now. But we're here to see Professor Norzen. Hey, you! Put those six stars of yours to work! <laughs> um, I'm Eugenie Olja, El Campus alumnus. I am a, uh, six star scholar, sir. Be that as it may, I'm sorry. I was specifically instructed not to admit anyone. Please be on your way. He's still watching us. What should we do? We'll just have to come back at night and sneak in. Out of the question! Huh? Why? If we come back after that teacher goes home, we just might be able to slip inside. D trust me, coming here at night is not a good idea. And I'm asking why? And I'll tell you why. Because it's against campus rules. Yep. No students allowed inside after sundown. Why? Too bad, but rules are rules. What about that sign? Take care with lamps when entering the spire at night. Only you can prevent <laughs> campus fires. Doesn't sound like we'd be breaking any rules. <laughs> Ghost well, stories, probably. No getting anything by you, is he, there, sir? He seems scared for some reason. So, why is sneaking in at night such a bad idea? Alright, you got me. It's the seven horrors. It's the seven horrors of El Campus. Seven horrors? No. Oh, we you had silly ghost, ghost stories story. at the Officers Academy in Eternia, too. I'm telling you, the seven horrors of El Campus are true. Mr. Bones, the skeleton in the biology lab that comes to life at night? Yeah, we had him, too. The peeping portrait, <laughs> a painting of Arca... <laughs>